to ask each of the three parties if they could please tell us um, what your party's approach would be if the election results in Swindon result in no single party having overall control of the council, would you, for example, seek to form a coalition? So, Bill, you start this up. Yeah, I, th I think you'd have to be very wary about going to, to a coalition. I and mean, I think you'd uh, technically, I think I would be the, the largest party would be the um, responsible. And then on each particular policy or, or measure, you vote, you vote on that rather than trying to be in, the, especially for us, a minor party. It's very, very dangerous to go into a coalition. We've seen it in, in Germany with the SDP and the Green. SDP is so awful that it's affected the, the Green Party very badly in Germany. And they, they've come back. So I think it would be dangerous to go into a formal coalition. I think we need to have agreement with perhaps Labour Liberal, some of the main policies, <coughs> stick to that. And if there's any deviation, we're not, we're not then committed to supporting unpopular measures. Okay. Thank you, Bill. So, Liberals this time, second? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good question, okay, because I think that, that, that could be a reality when it happens. Now, the one thing that's always struck me is we all actually, I mean, I think actually throughout this, you've actually seen that actually a lot of the things we actually all share. Uh, so I believe if it did cap that, there's no other control, we should all carry on working together. I, the Cabinet, should be actually of the best people able to actually to fulfil those roles. Uh, in an ideal world, I'd get rid of the cabinet system, and that may be a possibility we can consider to actually get removed the cabinet system, and therefore councillors have a much bigger role in decision making. I think that may be a way forward, particularly if you actually come into the, into the thing where there is no one party with overall control. But people talk about working together, and then if they don't do it when that actually it happens, I feel then they really are telling you a lie all along. So I believe it has to be a council that works together, i.e., a forming together, i.e., the politics actually from a united front by a cabinet that actually shares political, the political reflect, ref, reflect politically I the vote and obviously hopefully the parties go through. A coalition is always, is always something slightly strange in the sense of actually it's a way forward um, but obviously in such a situation your policies can happen actually to win the day and obviously that's what the Liberal Democrats have done actually in national government and obviously probably would do it again whatever happened to the, in the council election. So yes there are ways to move forward, yes you talk actually about working together, let's put it into being, if it happened to be that way, there was no party role or control, let's work together and actually get Swindon and send them actually working. So I, I believe, in fact, if anything, sometimes actually a, a nobody having overall control could be a great big benefit. Thank you, Stan. I must say this is very polite, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get started? <laughs> I thought people down there were making throwing things at you, not the other way around. <laughs> so, Hong Kong Council. Um, well, effectively, we, we, we work with all politicians as it is at the moment. I mean, um, I've done a fair bit with uh, Robert Buckland in the past. Um, and, uh, you know, as long as you're working for the same, same ends, and I think probably 90% of what we're trying to achieve for the town, it probably, probably is all of uh, common ground. Um, as far as, far as a, a, a coalition is concerned, I, mean, I think the, the, the main thing is to um, take out the current Tory administration that is just wasting so much money on vanity projects and not emptying bins and fixing roads and doing the basic stuff. Plus, when they, um, when they spend money on vanity projects and then they have to pay for this, they put up meals and wheels for old people by 25% and they're making them pay the cost of these vanity projects. It just, it just offends me. And I think if, if we have to try and form a coalition uh, with the Lib Dems to, to stop that and to change the administration, then, then that's something we would have to do, because that's the most important thing, we've got to stop this. But I think, uh, as far as the cabinet system is concerned, then, and I agree, the cabinet system isn't, isn't the most democratic way forward at the moment, but I also wouldn't want to go back to the committee system, because it was just too unwieldy, and it was difficult to get decisions. And what I would like to see for the cabinet system is uh, more groups like the uh, RPAC group, which is the Residential, residential Park and Advisory Group. These are cross-party groups, the steering groups that sit underneath uh, a cabinet member, and basically the cabinet member, they can get a view from all, all parties. It takes politics out of a lot of the decisions that don't need to have politics involved in it. Um, and if you can get 
one of these groups is really you know, underneath each cabinet, uh, each cabinet member, no matter who it, who's in control, whether it's Tories, whether it's Conservatives, I think that can only be good uh, as long as those groups are listening to. Um, for example, the, the Residential Park and Advisory Group, uh, they, they, they did a great job in removing, they were the ones that advised the removal of the dates, for instance, on uh, residential parking vista permits and various bits and pieces of stuff. So, yeah, I, I, that's something I'm going to wind up now.